What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We have got some more NCAA 07 ahead of you guys with Christian Okafor. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe guys. In today's episode, we will be playing Duke, taking our final exam, and then playing our last game of the regular season, which is going to be against Air Force. We're also going to be finding out who wins the Heisman, so hopefully Okafor in this episode can get in the Heisman race. So in order to do that, we're going to check out the season stats for Okafor and how he ranks up against every other running back in the nation in rushing yards this year. Okafor is sitting at number three right now, just under 2,000 yards rushing. The dude only has 225 carries, though, which gives him an average of 8.5 which is the best in the nation. So that just means that we need to give him the rock more. Looking at total touchdowns, he is sitting at third still at 24 touchdowns on the season. Number one, White has 26 and Parker has 25. So the game plan for today's episode is just to get Oka for the ball as much as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at Duke's ratings on the year. They are not a very good team. They are sitting at four and seven with a one game win streak. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's going to be cold out there today for the Duke Blue Devils and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. It's been a heck of a season, and today's game looks to add to the excitement and maybe answer a few questions. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Blue Devils may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Notre Dame will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. You're absolutely right. I'm picking Fighting Irish. All right, very first possession of the game for the Duke Blue Devils. They are facing a third and nine. And it looks like the crowd noise is causing some confusion. Anderson back under center, drops back, throws an interception to Kelly. Kelly's able to return it for at least 10 yards, setting up excellent field position for the Notre Dame offense to take the field. And Brian Williams gets injured on the play for Duke. No damn offense comes out. We're just going to give the ball to Okafor right here with the goal line formation. Finding some room outside. Can he take it into the end zone? To the five, all the way down at the one yard line. That is going to set up ball first and goal. We're going out formation right up the middle for Okafor. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. That's going to give Christian 25 touchdowns on the season. Duke Blue Devils facing another third and 10 on their second series on offense. This time they're in the shotgun formation. Anderson takes the snap, looking, has a little bit of time, finds a receiver in Anthony open, but is not enough for the first down. Notre Dame offense back on the field, looking to extend our lead right here. It is third and 16, though. Graham finding Pito across the middle. He catches it and then drops it. If he had hung on to that, it would have been a guaranteed six. Start of the second quarter, Duke is in fighting Irish territory, facing a fourth and four. I am, for some reason, lined up in punt formation. They do a quick slant to Parker. Who leaps over a Notre Dame defender and runs in for the quick touchdown. We got a tie ball game, folks. It is now 7-7. Seven to seven. Speaking of action, late in the second quarter, there's only about a minute 43 to go in the half. Neither offense has been able to get anything going, having three and outs. We need a spark right here with Okafor. We're just going to run him on a straight go route out of the backfield. He gets behind the defense, and he is gone. You're not going to catch that, man. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Christian Okafor with the 86-yard touchdown reception. With just over a minute left to go in that half. Duke facing a third and 12. They're looking to get back in this game. Anderson rolls out to the right and absolutely gets destroyed by the defensive end number 50. Forcing a fourth and 19. Notre Dame has a chance right here to go up by 14 with just under a minute to go in the half. We're going to start feeding the ball to Okafor. Running a little cheese play with a direct snap to the right side. Able to run past that linebacker. He's able to get the first down with ease. A couple plays later, it is second and inches. And we're going to do the exact same play. Okafor able to pick up the easy first down. We are now in the red zone. And now it is time to go through the air. Graham looking. Finding Wheeler running across the field, makes the catch at the 10, is able to get enough running room to get to the end zone. 18-yard touchdown for Wheeler. It is 21-7. Picking up the action in the second half, Notre Dame offense is back out on the field, and we're looking to extend this lead with the I formation. Christian Okafor runs it right up the middle, following his fullback for the easy first down. Okafor, by his standards, has not had a very good rushing day. We're going to try to go through the air. 
Okafor gets held up at the line, not letting Graham throw it. He ends up fumbling it. Luckily, an offensive player does recover it, but the drive would end. Blue Devils now with the ball, trying to get back into this game, down by 14 with just under a minute to go in the third. Crowd noise is very loud. Anderson in the shotgun, looking for a receiver, and it's incomplete. Fourth down, looks like a Notre Dame defender did get a hand in there. Knowing that we need to get Okafor back in the Heisman race, we really got to start running him the ball. Does a really good job hesitating before hitting the hole hard, and he's able to sprint forward for a 20-yard gain on that play. That's going to put him over 100 yards. A couple plays later, he is pulsating, so we're going to go with the cheese play, the direct snap to the right side. Picking up another big gain, he is now rushed for 116 yards and one touchdown. The dude is still pulsating, so now we're going to throw the rock. Okafor. Being guarded by the free safety, goes up for the ball at its highest point and comes down with it inside the 10. Next play, we are second and goal, and Okafor is just going to take it right up the middle for his second rushing touchdown of the game. Duke showing some pride here late in the game. Fourth and goal from the three-yard line. They've made it all the way down here. Can they punch it in? Play action pass. Anderson finds an open tight end who drops it. Turnover on downs, and the Notre Dame crowd goes wild. With a minute 33 left to go in the game, we still need to get some more stats for Okafor. So we're going to try our hand throwing the ball under pressure. Okafor makes a catch in triple coverage to get us out of our own end zone. And now we're starting to move the ball a little bit. Direct snap, Okafor able to outrun the defense. Nice impact, broken tackle, and we're almost to midfield with just over a minute to go in the game. Fast forward a couple plays with under 30 seconds left to go. Having to call timeouts to try to conserve the clock. We still need Okafor to score one more touchdown here if possible. He is really starting to feel it with 17 seconds left to go. Direct snap. Okafor makes a guy miss with a juke. Breaks a tackle and drags another defender into the end zone for his third rushing touchdown of the game. Four total touchdown overall. And that's the end of the game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Notre Dame played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2007. And our final score this one, Notre Dame 35, Duke 7. A big second half really helped Okafor out. Ended up running for 191 yards and three touchdowns on 25 carries. And also caught three passes for 132 yards and one touchdown. Wheeler also chipped in for a touchdown on a 28-yard reception. Back in the dorm room, checking out the Heisman watch. We still can't get any love. Nobody's on the Heisman watch except quarterbacks. Before we play our final game of the season against the Air Force, we are going to go ahead and take our final exam. Your hard work has paid off. No matter what grade you get on this exam, you will be able to play in the postseason game. Sweet. So let's go ahead and take this exam. I made 100 on it, you know, with the internet these days. Congratulations. Due to your hard work in the classroom, you've been placed on the dean's list for the semester. Keep up the good work. All right. So now it's time to finally play our last game. Air Force is 4-7 and seven with a one-game win streak. This should be an easy victory for us, guys. Hopefully, we do enough to get in the Heisman watch. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. A freezing cold day for this game between the Air Force Falcons and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We're delighted you could join us today for this late-season push for bowl bids and conference positioning. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish should have their way with this team. Kirby, why don't you tell us about their star? Air Force has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Kirk, I'm going to have to agree with you right here. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are going to win this game. Notre Dame kicking the ball off to start the game. Air Force Williams catches it, runs right up the middle trying to get some yards, and ends up fumbling the ball recovered by Notre Dame's Lawrence. Time for Okafor to go to work. We got the I formation out there, the beef up front. Little counter play. Okafor's got a lot of room on the outside. One guy to miss, not able to complete the spin move. He gets taken down at the nine. It is a first down, baby. Unfortunately, the drive did stall. We are forced to kick a 31-yard field goal here with West to take the early lead. 
getting the position. The kick is on its way. It is up. It is good. 3 nothing. Next offensive series for Air Force facing a third and six. Quarterback under center rolls out. Ball gets tipped. Williams ends up intercepting it, and that is the second turnover for Air Force early in the ball game, with just two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Great field position. We're going to keep giving Okafor the ball. We really got to get into that Heisman watch. I formation. Okafor makes one guy miss in the backfield. Makes another one miss. Able to pick up the first down after the third defender finally gets a tackle. Couple plays later, Okafor, another I formation, bounces it to the outside, splits the two defenders, and goes in for the touchdown. Still on his feet, ten nothing. Air Force facing a third and short. They are in the I formation, bringing everybody up to the line, trying to hand the ball to Ryan, who gets stuffed up the middle, bounces it outside, but then gets tackled by Brown, forcing a fourth down. Looking for some more cheese plays right here. Oka four, second and six, doing the direct snap out to the right side. Able to brush off a defender with a nice stiffy. Gets all the way down the midfield. Very next play, we're going to give to Oka four again because he is feeling it. We're going to get a great block by our left tackle, 71, and that's going to spring Oka four for the long touchdown, untouched. 53 yard touchdown for Oka four, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Air Force continues to have their struggles on offense, facing a third and 15, McBride under center. He's just going to straight up scramble for the first down, and he gets stopped. Fourth down, didn't have a chance. Just under three minutes to go in the half. We are looking to score one more time. Well, this time, we're going to go hit Nokafor out of the backfield on the go route. Not sure if he's going to come down with it, but he does after the ball gets deflected by number 11. Down here in the red zone, we're going to give open for the ball on the quick toss. Able to try to bounce it outside, jukes back inside, cuts it up, and gets the first. Ball is now down at the six. Looking to see if we got some room to run on the outside. Okafor is able to take it all the way to the left side for another touchdown, this time being a six-yard run. Third touchdown of the day, and look at Okafor, man, just celebrating, taking a look at that crowd. 0 for 3, third down conversions for Air Force. Trying to get the ball to Manning. He gets absolutely destroyed by number 99. We're going to call a quick timeout to conserve time because we want Okafor to get the ball one more time before the half ends. This play was so nice, we had to see it twice. With only 17 seconds left to go in the half, we are going to have to score quick, so we're going straight to the cheese play with Okafor. Bouncing it to the left. Getting around the defense, breaks one tackle, another one, another one still on his feet. He breaks three tackles and is finally taken out of bounds at the seven. First and goal, we're going right back to our goal line toss play. Okafor gets around the defense on the left side. Touchdown, seven yard run, fourth rushing touchdown of the game and this game is all but over. If you didn't think things could get any worse, well guess again, third and four, Notre Dame has the ball to start the second half. We're going to do a quick toss out to Okafor on the left side. Got plenty of room to run. Past the 50-yard line. Makes a guy miss, and he is off to the races. No one is going to catch him. Touchdown, Christian Okafor, this time on a 73-yard toss play. Fifth rushing touchdown of the game. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how many yards Okafor is going to run for, but it's going to be a lot today. Notre Dame defense is absolutely abusing Air Force. Another third down stop right here as Ryan runs into a brick wall of defenders. With Notre Dame playing most of this game on offense, we are just going to keep feeding the rock to Okafor. Running cheese plays and tosses. Able to pick up a first down here. Could have been more, but we ran out of bounds on the juke. Running the option with Graham now. A little bit of a wrinkle here. Okafor able to pick up some more cheap yards. Getting into Air Force territory. Graham, now we're trying to run the screen, showing that Okafor is a balanced back. Able to pick up another first down. And we are sitting here now at fourth and goal. And what else do we do, man? It's either a toss or a direct snap. Okafor, able to take it down the right sideline for the touchdown. I can't even remember how many touchdowns he has now. Is that five or is it six? I don't know, but it is a lot. With just over two minutes to play, Air Force looking to get this goose egg off the scoreboard. Trying to find Hines over the middle. Gets tipped, intercepted by Wade, and the Fighting Irish once again get another turnover. I think that makes three on the day. Let's go ahead and look at this replay, though. Running back gets hit. Ball deflects twice off two players, and Wade comes up with the interception. 
With the defense playing so well, this just keeps giving Okafor more and more opportunities to rack up the yards. Another direct snap, breaking another tackle. Finally kicked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. And this is where we make our only mistake of the game, trying to hit Okafor once again. The linebacker Adams plays underneath, makes a great interception. Not that it matters because we all know Air Force can't do anything against this Notre Dame defense. Tooth forced to go out to the left side, ends up taking a sack, forcing a fourth down. With less than a minute to go in the game, this is going to be Notre Dame's final offensive series. Running the option with Graham. He pitches out to Okafor really quickly, who's able to get yards, bouncing it to the left side, breaking a couple tackles, gets taken down at the 26. A couple plays later, we're going to do another handoff to Okafor down the left sideline. One got to miss. He breaks the tackle. About to go outside. No, he's going to stay inbounds and get all the way down to the five. The dude is run for 369 yards and six touchdowns. Why not try to get one more? Graham, Okafor, option, touchdown. That is number seven on the day for Okafor. And thank goodness this one finally comes to an end because I'd hate to see it get any uglier. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating this from the Air Force was completely dominated by this overpowering defense. They couldn't pass, they couldn't run, and most importantly, they couldn't score. Brad it was simply overmatched. For Lee Corso, Kirk Kirk Street, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Messler saying goodbye and see you next time. What a day for Okafor, 374 yards on the ground with seven touchdowns on 32 carries. Also chipped in three catches for 64 yards. Congratulations, due to your outstanding performance on the field, you have been awarded a place on this year's All-American team. Congratulations, Christian Okafor has won the Doak Walker Running Back Award. I think we won this award last year as well. And looky there, we are now going to be playing in the Sugar Bowl against number 10, Oklahoma, who finished the year 10 and 2. The only thing left to do is check out the Heisman Ceremony. Hopefully we made it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get into the event. Let's start the event. And... Sorry, only Heisman finalists are invited to the Heisman ceremony. You have got to be kidding me. With the amount of stats we put up these last five or six games, how are we not even at least invited? Arizona State's quarterback Horn ends up winning it. Looking at the season stats, Okafor ended up leading the nation in rushing yards with 2,480 yards, 8.7 yards of carry and leading the nation in touchdowns with 34. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Next episode, we are obviously going to be playing in the Sugar Bowl against Oklahoma, and then we'll do the offseason. And, uh, you know, obviously we're coming back for Okafor's junior year where he should absolutely be unstoppable. I am the coach. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out.